DJ Boy Chess Wings Wani, I'm on Quas Hedda. Three points better than Al Tabok on 36. One place ahead of the Phobians on fifth. And they've won more games this season than the Phobians. They've won 10 times, Mediama. They've lost the same number of games as they've drawn. Six defeats and six draws for the Phobian Yellow. Al Hassan nearly playing himself into trouble, but he's very good on the ball, so he's able to get the Phobians through. Here is Corsa's cross. Baba Musa's clearance. Shao's ball goes to Anaba. But Baba Musa is limping. Good kill from Akusi Dunsu. Dalentin to Ejei Boache. Jay Watch has been in Mediama since 2017. The centre back showed interest in surging forward by Babusa. Now, I think he's picked him to the ball. by Darlington Jan Tosu, but the Fobian Savit back with Khaled Amankwa. He spots Abu Usha and finds him. Good play from Atabo. Abu Usha with a two ball to Daniel Ufriye Banier. He's got a beat junior and Isaac Mensah in the box. He sends across. Isaac Mensah's header and does the opening goal. Beautiful goal from the Fobians. Banier the provider. Mensah the scorer. Last one. Madiama Neil. It's a brilliant goal from start to finish. And for a second, when the ball was being floated into the box, almost as if time is too still, there was a big pause before the header. And credit to Caliba Mankwa for the way he progressed the ball. Abusa reads the run of Banyan really well. Banyan question marks about if he was onside or offside, but across into the box and tees in one. But here, nobody challenging Mensa, who is not the tallest of players in the box. Defensively, question marks all over the place from Idema. I take nothing away from the finish. He plants the ball into the side of the net where the goalkeeper back can't reach it. Back from where it came from. Brilliant header. And it is, he's fast. Gave him a reputation for being a good header of the ball. That is his third goal with his head in the league. As a place on the goal scorer. Yes, he scored again playing on cities from a header in the Premier League and in the FA Cup last weekend yeah. against Elmina Shatt. He's caught on the head and he's caught again. The second goal in the Premier League is yeah. in all competitions. Isaac Mensah. Here is Mensah again. This time his pass is intercepted by Ousu Boache. It's kind of Amankwa. Awaku is putting a decent performance, Awaku. Yeah, I think he's been your best player this afternoon. Mijini Boatin can find Bani. Here is Baba Musa. Also, look at preparing for three substitutions. If Boatin, Nuruddin and Razak might just be introduced by Samuel Boedu. I won't be surprised if it's for Abu Shawis on a yellow card for him, knowing as he's like for like. Maybe Isaac Mensah will also take his power off the scoring for Mr. Monte. 
Watch it like my this time as well. So that's a goal that he scored. The ball into the box is good. The goalkeeper can't come out and kill him. He expected the defenders to be a lot tighter. But look at what he does. He just sends the ball into the side of the area where the ball is coming from. So you can see Atenga asking questions. How on earth is he allowed to climb and head the ball? Nobody at it. This is Bowers wants to take his place. Ejeni Boateng goes off. Nuruddin Abdelaziz steps in form. The Phobians. Abu Shaw is off. Razak is coming in. Yeah, no surprises here. It's on a yellow card. Not the case of players. But Yama now will try and throw more bodies forward. So you need your defensive midfielder to be able to come into problems. So the change makes sense to me because now that Yama will open it up, you've got Esubonti who is quick, you've got Patrick Razak who is quick. All of them in the action, Barney as well, so something for Mediamas backline when they push up to think about. But what, what that means now is that I think Barney will drop into the midfield areas alongside Nero Dean and Nuno Naziz and Awaku. Here is Kosa. Now Amankwa. Opin Junior is offside. Yes, he is offside. And yeah, that's Opin Junior again. It's actually offside. It's just from an offside position. Actually, it stays in an offside position as the ball arrives. Ejei Boache, now Darlington Janfusu, back to Ejei Boache, heavy touch, Kaleba Mankwa clears it. Nuruddin goes down. Yeah, I think the players around him are worried because they, I think it's, he has a cut. Kaleba Mankwa's follow goes into the head of his own player, Kaleba Mankwa is clearing the ball on it. It's the follow through that catches Nuru Dean Aziz. Here's a player who stayed almost the entire of last season without making an appearance because he was injured. He makes a return and he's been exciting to watch. He's been good for them in midfield. He's a strong lad. Up on his feet, he's okay, Nuru Dean. He's an important player for them now. Nuru Dean Aziz, hard tackler, never shy to dive into the challenge. Mohamed Al Hassan. So, being Jimmy up against Atinga. Asma clears it in. Ahmed Turi heads it down. And Kosa is up against AJ Wache. Chris, you done so. Great move from Mediama. Also, watch it. Decent effort. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's awesome. He's struggling now to clear the ball from there, but the boy's not dropping in time for him. The effort comes at the goalkeeper as well. It's a good area to apply the save. Good effort from Ousu Bwache. Now here is Kosa. He gets away possession. And he fouls Ousu Bwache. Free kick for Midiama. Has the ball down Al Hassan for half here is Nuruddin or Khalid Aman Kwa. Now Dosu. Here is AJ Boache. Now Dalinton Janfusu. Back to AJ Boache. But Khalid Aman Kwa is there for half to work. Lost possession, but 
Costa to the rescue of the Phobians. Barnier finds Awaku. Lovely turn from Awaku. Barnier. Al Hassan. Barnier. Awaku. Trying to fight Patrick Grazak, but Abedu was the right of left. Tata Mohammed. Patrick Grazak. Here is Danny the free Barnier. Switches to Corsa on the left. Yeah, Barnier dropping from the strikers' row on that forwards' row to the floor. Here is Enoch Esubonte. Then it's Corsa. Now Bean Jr. Great awareness from Matinga. Go kick. Had to look at Pew's for corner. Yeah, that does not referee actually was flagging for a corner kick by referee's insistent that he's sure that that is a goal kick and his decision is final. Now coming up with three substitutions. Justice Benson goes in for Ahmed Touré. Former Elmina Sachs striker. Jean Vital Borega comes in for Sule Musa. Fatal Sulemana is in for Benjamin Abedu, like for like. Yeah, some fresh legs will do for Mediama. Change both strikers, put on fresher legs. Change one fullback, put on a fresher leg just to inject some bit of pace and urgency. Here is Justice Mensah, wants to make an early impact here. It's Mensah, but his efforts ricochets off Fatal for a corner. Yeah, what an impact that would have been. Straight off the bench to equalize. Fatal has stated a bit, was thinking that one of the hearts would take the the responsibility but you know just as a strong lad it's not going to let them one pass easily but uh, Mohammed has at least the stays down after that slip that he got hearts of a player down Isaac Mensah He's done his job for the day. He's called Abu Shao with the yellow card. And he's an important. Yeah. An interesting game. Had a couple of chances, but failed to convert. Hard to walk to defend this corner. He's been taken by AJ Boache. But they're playing with a numerical disadvantage because Al Hassan has gone off to receive treatment. AJ Boache's corner. Here is Dongsu. Jump the town is late for the ball. Manopin Jr.'s weaker right foot. He can't get it right. Here is Fatal Sulemana. Now Dongsu throwing for Mediama. Now Justice Mensah. Fatal Sulemana. Was Mediama's regular left back until the arrival of a baby from Chelsea? Doubt about his qualities for Tao Sulemana. He's a tinga up against Razak. Darling turned to Mensa. Flag is up. He wanted for Tao Sulemana to move in that space, but the flag is up for his side. Yeah, Mediama looking a bit sharper, a lot quicker. As we need to react to it, because Mediama reacted to the good he conceded. And as tight as it is, Tao Sulemana is offside.
and Yamaha have been making good travelers this season. They've lost five times on the road and drawn three times. They've only recorded two wins away in the season's Premier League with Yama. Some defending here, but between Patrick Alec and Obin Jr., that was really good work. Razak with the space, nobody wants to get close to him. Obin Jr. trying to flick it around the corner. It's first off, good defender, but he can't just get there because he's taking a slip. Obin Jr. is arriving, goes through the goalkeeper, but what about that for defender? It is but Atinga. He's, he's taking the pain for it. I think that clashes into the woodwork and in the frame, and but that was cool and clearance there. Obin Jr. was certain to score, but he just clattered into it. Atinga, hopefully he's well. So pain is taking for the team. Atinga denying his former team the second goal. It looked like he was almost getting in, but that was a great, great decision to go in, even when you realize that he was coming up against the woodwork. Yeah. It's 82 minutes at Waku's corner. Now here is Banya. Nuruddin Aziz. Dennis Kossa for the Phobians. Now he finds Obin Jr. And Obin Jr. shoots. And Anaba makes a save as a corner for the Phobians. Yeah, it's in those spaces again. Kossa does not to pick Obin Jr. in that space. On his left, he can almost bet he's going to take the strike. Nobody close to him enough. Get the strike away. I'm not sure he's going in, but the goalkeeper wasn't to take any chances. Applies the fingertips. It's Glass and Awako who likes up to take the corner. He's in the brightest spot in this out of book set up this afternoon on Wako's corner. Again, it's Jan Vital who goes back to defend and eventually ball is cleared by Baba Musa. Here is Corsa. Goes past AJ Boache. Barnier. Not a good pass to Kaleba Mankwa. Nearly played him into trouble. Yeah, the pass from Banya was shot, was being charged by the striker and the Kalama Mankwa had to try and stop that, stop that by any means he could, and he did. But it seems he's, he's just suffered a cramp for that. It's 85 minutes at the Accra Sports Stadium. It's Hansabok. One with Diamaneo. Isaac Mensah, the goal scorer has been taken off probably resting him for the super clash next week in Kumasi against Kotoko. Yeah, but that would be important for the Hartsville players on the pitch now not to be thinking about that game. Because they've still got five big minutes here to play. And as we've seen them throughout the season, they've, they've dropped a lot of points from winning positions deep deep into games. Up in junior, flag goes up, Patrick Razak is offside. That's the danger when you play against Patrick Kozak. Like he's always looking to make the run in behind the back line. But the question is, is he offside? Yeah, he is offside. Got onto his bike way too early. and he manages to keep her to focus as high up the pitch as, as, as possible with about a minute left on the clock. Corner taken. Are you got a card in the FA Cup game against Elmina Shucks? And this is the second in the Premier League.
that is three yellow cards. Technically, it's in all competitions. Does he miss the game against us until to the next weekend? Yeah, that rule says that. And in those three cards, those three competitions, uh, you, you miss the next game that is coming. This is why you can see his frustration and, and his and the disappointment. Not only him, but actually, even the technical team of the, the dugouts were disappointed with that. Atenga, he stays so well this afternoon. Here is Atenga. He plays for FK Tirana in Albania after leaving Atabok and then joined Mediama when his contract expired. Here is Atal Sulemana. Free kick for Mediama within five minutes of additional time here at the Accra Sports Stadium. Yeah, plenty of time for Mediama to try and steal the point from here. It's again, plenty of time for her to fuck to, to defend what they have or go on and kill the game. Kujasa West Cross headed down by Sewonu. information yellow cards in the FA Cup doesn't count in the Premier League so it's all about the situation with Ali so we see how it goes that's a strange one because and then the rules keep changing Tom had a new Normalization committee regulations. Yeah. Otherwise, once an FA sanctioned game, red card or yellow card from all of that, it has to affect it because it's uh, something the same association and it's a recognized game at the end. So, what's that say if you get a red card in the half corner and missing the World Cup playoffs? Yeah. You know, because it's very much sanctioned by the football governing body. So it's actually strange that yellow cards in the cup doesn't affect the league if that is the case. Here is Jan Vital in search of Fatal Sulemana up against Nurdin. Appeals for a corner, but it's a goal kick. He's surprised. He's agreed with the call. The media will be quick to remind themselves that last time out, the left and late to be hard to fuck. So it's not over until the whistle has gone. Hard to fuck. Oh, as, as well, be very wary of the fact that they've let in several goals and around this time of their games and so they need to defend it a lot better. But they have, have another free kick as we take it quickly. Yes, also watching. Now Baba Musa. AJ watches cross stop by someone. Trying to put one two for Big Junior and Asma gets to goalkeeper Camilo Nava. Awkward clearance from Mohamed Al Hassan. The final two minutes. It is Mediama who are pushing for the equalizer. It is Baba Musa's delivery. And always to watch it with a field overhead kick. It's a big junior. It's a push on Asma. Disappointed from a bench in the group. I thought he did really well. Haven't played the game from the start. I don't think he's done anything wrong here. Or being junior, he's not smashed his hand. His shoulder is in the right place. He's not checking into his man. He haven't played over 90 minutes. I still have had the pace to 
to do what he did. That is impressive. Wine to the final minute of stoppage time. It's hard to one with Yama Neal. Free kick taken. So we for Mediama. We've done the five minutes of stoppage time. Yeah, we need to borrow time now. We need to borrow time, yeah. Kujasama twisted and turning around. Corsa. Now he sends a cross, but it's grabbed firmly by Richmond Ali. And certainly, it will be the last action of this game. Yeah, big punch. It's a big punch by Ali because the ball into the box is close to him. He's expecting him to come out and claim it, and he does really well with it. Mohamed Hassan collides slightly with his goalkeeper and stays down. Referee giving him a helping hand. He takes a look at the watch, whistle to his mouth, and he blows his whistle for the end of the game here at the Accra Sports Stadium. 